Hi everyone, welcome to final part 3 of how to install Napier series. In this video, we are going to install Napier with version 4.0.2. This is the newest version of Napier which includes module S as well. Also, we will install many dependencies which are necessary to run Napier and we will compile Napier from source code. If you are new to this series and want to install Napier on your Windows machine, you have to follow the steps given in part 1 and part 2 of this video series as well. You can find the link to these parts in the description box below. And if you are installing Napier on Linux, you have to start with part 2 and then follow along in part 3. This is the general workflow to install Napier. First we have to install Gmesh which we already did in the last part. Then we have to install many many dependencies. These are some common dependencies which we might have to install. This will change on version to version. So you can find the list of dependencies you have to install in Napier manual. Napier manual can be found on Napier website which is given over here. Then we will download Napier source code and to install Napier finally we have to follow these commands. One important thing is before you use Napier you have to enter this command export OMP number of threads equal to 1. This command forces Napier to run on a single core. Napier is built for parallel computing but somehow if you are running Napier with Ubuntu app on Windows machine it will give some error some weird error it's kind of a bug. So if you are running Napier on Linux machine you don't have to do it but if you are running Napier on Windows machine using Ubuntu app you have to do this first. This is true for the time of the recording and this version 4.0.2 maybe in future they will get rid of this bug and you can run Napier on parallel as well. Now let's start. First let me start Ubuntu app. And to mount C drive, what you have to type is cd space slash mnt slash c. And now you are in this C drive. Now this is the file over here. I gave all the commands to install Napier. We did good portion of this in last two videos. So we are up to here. Now we have installed Gmesh. And in this video, we are going to do this much. So let's start with installing some dependencies. You can just copy paste from here and enter over here. It will ask you for your password, say yes, then let's install second dependency, third one, fourth one and fifth one. Now once all dependencies are installed, we will download Napier source code. So for that I am going to visit this website. And over here you can download the latest version. Once you download this, copy paste in one folder. So I have created a folder called Ubuntu apps software in C drive. You can copy paste that over here and then extract it. For extraction you need WinRAR tool. And once extraction is done, go in this folder using this terminal. And then you have to follow these commands. Let me clear this. Now first let's go into Napier folder and then in src folder then make a directory named build go into that folder and here do cmake dot dot configuration is done now sudo make this will take some time so i'm going to fast forward over here two thousand years later and finally sudo make install. Let me clear these things and go out of this folder. Now to check if it is installed correctly or not, you can just type Napier. <laughs> and you will see the version of Napier is 4.0.2. But still let's go on and test this. And before we do that, we have to enter this command. As I said earlier, this forces Napier to run on one single core. This is important for now. Then let's run some commands. This is to create a microstructure. That was quick. This is to visualize. Okay, image is written. Now let's mesh it. It's meshing. Meshing will take a little bit of time. Again, I will fast forward over here. Just a reminder, you can download this file from this channel's GitHub profile. You can find link in the description box below. And finally, let's visualize this mesh. Okay. This is image number one. And image number two. If you want colored image, you can always put this command. This is to visualize microstructure. 
and this is to visualize mesh let's see perfect this is microstructure and this is mesh if you want to learn more about software neighbor i have many tutorials about software neighbor you can check it out on this channel and that's it for this video if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching